know. I'm late for work. What's the shortest route from here to my job? Okay, but how does this navigation app actually find the shortest path? That's where pathfinding comes in. Pathfinding is when a computer plots the shortest path between two points using a search algorithm. There are many different algorithms for exploring the environment, and the goal is to find the optimal shortest path from the start to the end node. A node is a point of vertex on the graph. One of the simplest algorithms is the breadth first search. The breadth first search algorithm has a time complexity of O of E plus V, which is the number of vertices plus edges, and is directly proportional to the size of your graph. A time complexity is the worst case number of times an algorithm needs to execute to reach the goal, so lower is better. Each node holds a value for its parent node, the node that precedes it and is passed to the end node. The algorithm uses a queuing technique by beginning at the start node and adding the adjacent nodes to the queue, then adding the next layer of nodes to the queue, and so on. This will repeat until the end node has been found and a path from the start to the end node will be constructed from the parent node hierarchy. Imagine you're in a large crowd trying to look at another person. First, you ask the people surrounding you if they have seen your target. Next, those people ask the people next to them if they have seen your target. This will repeat branching outwards. As you can see, the breadth first search prioritizes breadth over depth. However, it's not very time efficient as it may have to search the entire graph to find the goal. Dijkstra's algorithm typically has a time complexity of O of V plus E times log V, which is faster than the previous algorithm. Whereas the breadth first search assumes that every node is the same distance from its neighbors, Dijkstra's does not make this assumption and tracks the weights or distances of edges, making it more useful for real-life situations like my bike ride. Dijkstra's begins at the start node and checks the edge weights of the neighboring nodes, adding them to a distance array and a cube. Dijkstra's marks this node as visited and goes down the queue to find the next node with the shortest distance to it and checks its neighbors until the end node is found. By only updating the distance array with the shortest sum of edge weights from the start node, it ensures that the quickest path can be found. Improving on Dijkstra's, an algorithm called A star also accounts for the direction of your goal, showing the time complexity. A star keeps track of three costs for each node. The G cost is the distance from the current node back to the start node following the path of its parent nodes. The H cost, or heuristic, is how far away the node is from the end node. And finally, the F cost is the G cost plus the H cost. A star's performance depends on the heuristic and how it determines the estimated distance to the goal. You can see that the algorithm is guaranteed to run the fastest because as soon as the algorithm isn't moving in a straight line towards the goal, the F cost will increase and the algorithm will look at other potential routes. In my opinion, the breadth first search algorithm is good for finding the path with the least amount of nodes on a graph of unweighted edges, such as Pac-Man. Dijkstra's algorithm is good for finding the path of least distance on the graph of weighted edges, like navigating a map. However, a -star does this more efficiently. Pathfinding has so many current applications, from video games, navigation apps, and even to Roombas and self-driving cars. Search algorithms use math and computer science to help us get where we're going more efficiently, but I still need to leave the house in time.